I'll look a little sickly in this lighting. It's like the pa. <sighs> And welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and in today's video I have a quick grocery haul So we weren't planning on filming today We weren't planning on going grocery shopping, but last minute we decided to run to Trader Joe's We had a few things that we've been needing to get specifically from there So we ended up getting some groceries and then we also stopped at Aldi just to run in I wanted to see if there were any new products So we grabbed like six or seven things from there So I'm gonna go ahead and run through what we got if you enjoyed this video Please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Let's get started So we'll just go through Aldi really quick since it's barely anything But the first thing we got some dips So that's like one of our favorite things to get from Aldi Specifically the tzatziki dip is like my all-time favorite thing to get it is the spinach parmesan flavor So they actually had all three now they have a cucumber dill and then an artichoke parmesan or something or maybe it's spinach artichoke either way we like the spinach parmesan the best i like to use this for greek bowls it is two points for two tablespoons 50 calories four and a half grams of fat it's got two carbs and two grams of protein and usually i just use a two point serving when i add it to bowls but it just depends sometimes i'll also have it as a snack with pretzel crisps then i also got this pineapple poblano guacamole this is one of our favorite things to get from aldi it's only one point for the serving of two tablespoons it's 40 calories it's got three carbs and one gram of fiber and we just love the flavor of it so it's pretty much just avocado with pineapple and roasted poblano peppers it is aldi brand park street deli which that's also what this is it's just so good we love their dips but anyway i like to have this just plain with like tortilla chips or pretzels but it would also be a good option in bowls or something it is pretty sweet but it has such a good flavor we like go through it so quickly when we finally open it okay then next this is adam's all-time favorite buffalo dip this is the aldi buffalo style chicken dip it's got blue cheese that's why i'm not a huge fan of it but he loves it and they don't always have it so he was really excited when we got there and they did have it for the serving of two tablespoons it is three points on ww so a little bit higher point but worth it for him especially it's 80 calories seven grams of fat it's got one carb and three grams of protein and i don't know how to even explain the flavor of it i don't think it has much of a hot sauce flavor i think the cheese really comes out and that's like i said why i'm not a huge fan of it but he likes to have it with pretzels or different chips or crunch master crackers and then the last dip we got is a salsa con queso so i just saw this and wanted to try it out i'm always looking for new like queso options this one's higher point than the one i usually use but for two tablespoons it's two points it's 40 calories two and a half grams of fat three carbs and two grams of protein and it just says it's a blend of american cheese roasted green chilies diced tomatoes chili peppers and spices so i'm pretty excited because i love queso it looks kind of thicker i can't really tell honestly but I'll probably use this as a topping for wraps or for nachos. Oh, that would be really good on nachos. So we'll see. I'll be using this soon though. Okay, then I also wanted to grab some ricotta cheese. I forgot that a couple weeks ago, or maybe it's even been longer now, but I bought Hearts of Palm lasagna noodles. So those are zero points, and I wanted to make kind of like a lasagna recipe with them, and I needed ricotta cheese for that. So I just got this. This is actually made with skim milk as well, so it's not as high in points. It's 90 calories for a quarter cup, six grams of fat, six grams of protein. It's got two carbs and two grams of sugar, and it's four points for that serving on WW. So it's definitely higher point for the serving I'll probably use I don't know yet how much I'll use I'll probably use this whole container but we'll see how it goes since the noodles are gonna be zero because they're hearts of palm I'm willing to use more points for the cheese so I'm excited to try that out and see how it is so then I got some imitation crab we just finished the last container we had of it so I needed to get more this is four points for a half cup it's 110 calories two grams of fat and five grams of protein and it's got 18 carbs and this is something that I just use as an ingredient for bowls or even pasta a lot of the times if we have like a vegetable I can use like spinach or mushrooms I can cut up some crab or even zucchini and then toss it together with pasta and it makes a really quick and easy dish so I like to always have crab in the fridge I also got some ground beef so this is the 96% lean so it's extra lean ground beef it's only three points for the serving of four ounces it is 140 calories and it's got 24 grams of protein in a four ounce serving so I actually usually make five out of a pound this is actually 1.2 pounds so you Usually I get just a pound and make five patties. I'll probably do five or six out of this one. Maybe I'll just do six actually, but this will be good. It's a good option to just make burgers with, or I could do like taco meat or meatballs. 
And then the last two things from Aldi, we wanted to try these cassava chips. So these are grain free, they're spicy barbecue, and we're just always looking for new chips to try. They're only three points for the serving of about 14 chips, so lower point, 140 calories, and 19 carbs for that serving. So we're excited to try those out. And then we also got something else that we haven't tried. These are peanut puffs. So we've tried something similar at Trader Joe's. We weren't a huge fan, but we still like trying new things. So these are crunchy corn snacks with freshly ground peanuts. And for the serving of a cup, it is 150 calories, seven grams of fat, 17 carbs, four grams of protein, and it is four points for that. So we're excited to try these. We might save them for a snack review video, but we'll see. That's all that we got from Aldi. Like I said, mostly went in to get some dips and just see if there were any new products, which we got some, and that is all we got. So now moving on to Trader Joe's. So starting with the produce, we always get this when we go to Trader Joe's. This is their shredded cabbage and carrot mix. I get this because I either use it for shrimp tacos, I make it into like a slaw, or I add it to sesame noodles. And it's zero points for the whole bag. I got some mushrooms just to use for eggs, pasta, pizza, anything like that. I always have fresh mushrooms on hand now, which I didn't use to, but I just, I don't know, I like mushrooms so much more lately, and they've been a good ingredient that I can add to different veggie mixes and stuff. So I got some shredded carrots. I can use these for different rice bowls or poke bowls, or even like a stir fry if I make it. Another good ingredient to have on hand. This is also a good ingredient I can add to wraps for a little extra crunch. Then we got bananas, like always. We just need them for protein shakes or just a snack throughout the day. There's zero points for us. I got some green beans. So I think we might actually make panko breaded green beans with this. That sounds really good and we might do like an appetizer night soon. So that's always a good way to get a vegetable in, but it's still like an appetizer. Uh, this bag's kind of big though. It is a pound. So I don't know if I'll use the whole thing for that. Maybe I'll do like half and half. And sometimes I like to just like bake it in the oven or roast it to have as a side with pasta or something. Or I'll cook it on the stove with onion and mushroom and make my like green bean mix because that's one of our favorite sides to have with burgers and stuff. So zero points for the green beans. Then they had a giant thing of blueberries. So I was excited about this. It was really big. I think it was like eight bucks for the whole thing, but we will definitely go through these. I will use this for yogurts. And then I also want to make a French toast bake because we got a loaf of Ezekiel and it just like completely fell apart which has happened before I think because they freeze them sometimes they get pulled and then thaw for too long and then when they're refrozen it just like doesn't work out that's why we don't really like to buy the Ezekiel from Trader Joe's because we know that it's already been thawed and then it breaks apart much easier but anyway I have a loaf in there that just completely fell apart and so I want to do like a French toast bake with it and I'll use some of those blueberries for that then we got some chicken sausages so this is my favorite flavor of chicken sausage that they have they have a few other good ones but the roasted garlic just goes so well with so many things. I like to use them for pasta, for pizzas, for eggs. Like they go well with pretty much anything. For one link, it's 110 calories, six grams of fat and 11 grams of protein. And it's three points for one. Then the cheese that we always get from Trader Joe's. This is like one of my staple things that I get from there. Both of their shredded cheeses, they have light. So they have light mozzarella and then they also have light Mexican blend. They also have a light three cheese blend. I pretty much switch between this and the other one. They're pretty much the same to me, but I just switch off every time. So for the light mozzarella, it's two points for the serving. I think it still scans as one, but when you type in the nutrition, it is two points for one ounce, which is a quarter cup, which is not bad. That's a good portion. It's 60 calories, two grams of fat, three carbs, and seven grams of protein. And this I like to use mostly on pizza bakes, eggs, pasta, different things like that. I'll probably use that when I make the lasagna. And then also the Mexican cheese blend. So this is three points for the quarter cup serving. It's 80 calories, four grams of fat, and eight grams of protein and two carbs. This one is also a good one for eggs and just anything I need cheese for. So nachos or tacos or stuff like that. Especially when we make like at home Taco Bell, this is a good cheese blend to use. And this is one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's and I could probably buy like 10 packs of these and just have them every day, but I can't justify spending that much. I just really like them. I think they remind me of spinach squares, which are one of my favorite appetizers, but it's just like a lighter, fluffier version. But these are the egg bites. These are cheese, spinach, and kale. So they're fully cooked already. You just pop them in the microwave. Each bite is one point on WW. So the pack is two points. It's 150 calories, eight grams of fat, seven carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So good high protein. This is honestly a good snack option just throughout 
throughout the day, but also for breakfast. I like to make them sometimes and cut them in half and put them on Ezekiel bread to make a sandwich out of them. I'll throw on like some bacon or something and make it like a full breakfast sandwich, but super convenient and I just love them. They do have like a meat lover one, I think, and it's much higher in points. We've never gotten that one, but the spinach and kale one's really good. Then I got some ground chicken. I got two pounds just so I can make a big batch of chicken burgers or chicken meatballs or something with them. It is four points for four ounces. It's 170 calories, nine grams of fat, and 22 grams of protein. And the reason it's not zero points is because it's not ground chicken breast. So if we had like the fat free kind, then it would be zero points, but this is four points for four ounces. I've never gotten this before from Trader Joe's, but I wanted to try it. So this is a sprouted wheat sourdough bread. It is 90 calories for a slice. So I think it's two points for one, but if you have two slices, it's three points. So zero grams of fat, 14 carbs, two grams of fiber, and seven grams of protein in one slice. So for two slices, 14 grams of protein is actually really high. I didn't realize that. So that's a bonus. And I'm hoping it tastes good because we love sourdough. We really do like the sprouted grain breads that we get from Ezekiel. And so I'm really excited to try this. Then my favorite buffalo chicken dip. So Adam's is the Aldi dip. This one is mine. I like how runny this one is. It is also three points for two tablespoons. It's 60 calories, four and a half grams of fat, two carbs, and three grams of protein. And I just love to have this with, again, Crunch Masters, pretzels. If we ever do any like buffalo chicken recipes, sometimes I'll throw it in if I do like a bowl or a buffalo wrap or something. That's what Adam likes to use this for too. But it's just a really Really good dip option. It's also really good with cucumbers dipped in it. So if you want to use something that's zero points to have the dip, that works really well. Then Adam dropped this, so it's a little cracked. Sorry, I had to call you out. Wow. This is the creamy cauliflower dip that I buy every time I go there. This is what I like to use as a pasta sauce. So for the serving of two tablespoons, it's 40 calories and two points on WW. It's three and a half grams of fat, one carb, and one gram of protein. And I usually end up using three tablespoons, I feel like, for each of us when I use it as a pasta sauce. I also use it with the hearts of palm noodles, and it is perfect. So it works well as a dip. I think it kind of lacks a little flavor if you just want to have it plain. But when you mix it in as a sauce, add some extra seasonings and veggies and stuff it's perfect and then the last dip we got so many dips but the thing is we'll actually go through them and usually we wait to open them so they'll last long in the fridge until we open them but anyway this is the chunky artichoke and jalapeno dip so for the serving of this one it is two points on ww for two tablespoons it's 60 calories two carbs three grams of protein and four grams of fat and this one is really good for just like a snack plate or something. I do like to use it on pizza bakes, like as a base if I do like a spinach artichoke pizza, but really we just like to have it as like an appetizer or like kind of like a snacky dip. Okay, so some freezer things that we got. I have been missing these because we've been out of them for a while. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to go to Trader Joe's. These are their mini French baguettes. So these are just frozen. They come in the freezer section. It has six in there. So for one of them, it's three points on WW. It's 110 calories, 22 carbs, two grams of sugar, and four grams of protein and this has just become one of my favorite sides when we have pasta or hearts of palm or something we just pop them in the air fryer at bake so like 325 for maybe like eight minutes or so and then they're perfect then we got these hash brown patties so we were out of these as well we like to use them for breakfast whether we're just having them with eggs or for making like a crunch wrap supreme or something for one hash brown patty it's four points on ww it's 140 calories six grams of fat 15 carbs and one gram of protein and they are perfect air fried so we just like to have those in the freezer as an option also these ratatouille bites we recently had tried they are so good they're just a good option when we do like an appetizer or snack night. So for the serving of four pieces, it's four points on WW. It's 130 calories, seven grams of fat, 16 carbs, and two grams of protein. And it's pretty much just like a ratatouille covered in breadcrumbs. So really good, flavorful, and an easy little appetizer we could have. Same with these chicken cilantro mini wontons. So for the serving of four pieces, it's one point on WW. It's 50 calories, a half gram of fat, nine carbs, and three grams of protein. And we usually just pop these in the air fryer. Sometimes even for lunch, if I'm making like a little rice bowl, I'll mix together like a can of tuna with some sriracha. And then I'll add like edamame, cucumber, and then I'll also throw some of these in the air fryer 
because every ingredient that I added to the rice was zero points. So I like to find something that I can add that's for a few points and this always adds the best flavor. It adds some crunch and it's one of my favorite lunches. Then speaking of rice, it's always nice to have some jasmine rice on hand. So when we don't have any prepped in the fridge, which actually we just made a batch of it, Trevor made some for us. So the rice cooker is full right now, but this is good to have as an option in the freezer. It comes with three frozen bags. Each bag has two cups in it and each cup is five points on WW. So it's 210 calories, 46 carbs and four grams of protein for that serving. And it's just really convenient. It's a good option to have on hand, especially when I realize there's no rice and I already have a bowl planned in my head or something. Then we like the Trader Joe's ketchup. So this is just their organic ketchup. It's one point for a tablespoon, 20 calories. And it's just what we use if we need ketchup for fries or potatoes or something. We just found that we really like their brand. And it's also the same way with their tomato sauce. So we love their tomato sauce. I like to use it for pizzas, pastas, whatever. Whatever I need red sauce for, I just add some seasoning to, sometimes some fresh garlic, maybe some cheese if I add like Parmesan or something, but it's so convenient. I can also toss in a can of diced tomatoes to make a tomato sauce and it's zero points for us. So always like to have that on hand. These are also zero points. They are their fat free refried beans. So another good option to just have in the pantry if we want to make like tacos or like a Mexican pizza or something like that. It's zero points. It makes the meal so much more filling. And usually I have leftovers then that I can use in a bowl the next day or on wraps the next day. I love their enchilada sauce so much. I buy this every time we go there. It's just convenient and it's a low point option that I can use. So for the serving, which is a quarter cup, you can actually go up to a half cup and it's one point, but I like to use anywhere from a quarter to a half. It's like the perfect amount when I do like enchilada bakes or something. For a quarter cup, it is 1.30 calories, one and a half grams of fat, a gram of protein and four carbs. And I just think it's got a good flavor to it, but it's not like spicy or overwhelming. It's kind of just a basic enchilada sauce. Then we were recently talking about how we wanted these because we made mac and cheese with pulled chicken. I did barbecue, Adam did buffalo, but one of the best things about that from Noodles and Company, which is where I usually get it with pulled pork, is that it has crispy jalapeno pieces. So when we were eating it, I was like, it is just missing something and this is what they are. So we got these so that I can hopefully make that again soon. For the serving of a tablespoon, it's one point. It's 40 calories, three grams of fat, three carbs, and it just adds some spice, some flavor. They are definitely spicy. So that's the good thing about them. I can't really have more than a tablespoon because of how spicy they are, but they add so much to wraps, eggs, or like I said, mac and cheese. I always grab a jar of roasted red peppers, especially now that they have the bigger ones. I'm so happy that they switched over to the taller jars because you get a lot more and it just seems more worth it. I used to go through a jar in like a day and a half, but for the serving it's zero points, five calories. And I just think that roasted red peppers add so much flavor to bowls, to sandwiches. I've actually been putting them on my turkey sandwiches and they're so, so good, but they're good in pasta and there's just so many things you can do with them for zero points. Okay, so we usually buy the silk cashew milk, but sometimes we run out and just don't have on hand and that's why I like to get one of these whenever we run out so this doesn't need to be refrigerated it's just the unsweetened almond cashew and macadamia nut milk so for the serving of a cup it's one point if you have a half cup or less though it is zero points but it's 30 calories two and a half grams of fat and one carb and I pretty much just get this to keep in the cabinet in case we run out of cashew milk pretty much like how I am with the jasmine rice it's just like a backup thing uh, but I ended up using the last one so I just want to make sure I have one in there because because it's always a pain when I need it. I use it a lot. And so when I run out and don't realize it, it's kind of frustrating. So it's good to have that. Okay, we got some hearts of palm pasta and hearts of palm rice. So this is the rice. This is the pasta. This is something we've been buying for a long time. This is one of their newer products and we really like it. So both of these are zero points for the serving. They're both 60 calories and three grams of protein for the whole box. And it has a very similar taste to artichokes. It's definitely not pasta. Like don't expect to be just eating pasta or normal rice and have that flavor and stuff. It does taste like artichokes a little bit, but you can add sauce, veggies, and a protein. And it is such a filling meal. It's a good zero point option. And really there's so much we can do with it. So usually I use that white sauce that I showed but I think we might try to do like a fried rice with the rice this time. I think I might add some egg and veggies and stuff and see how that goes. I'm excited for that. I also got two boxes of the Thai wheat noodles. So this is probably my favorite product from Trader Joe's. I've heard from some people that it's only a seasonal item. So I also heard that it might be going away in March. I got two boxes. I already have two boxes at home, but I just needed to buy them to make sure that I have them for when they go away because one of the most frustrating things about Trader Joe's is how quickly they rotate their products. So if you start to love something and then it just disappears the next 
next time you go there, you might not see it for months. And that's what happened last time with these. Actually, funny story, I had sent my brother like four boxes of them because he moved away and we had told him how much we liked them and stuff. And kind of just as a joke, I went over the top and sent him a bunch. And then when we went back to get them, they were gone. So then he had all these boxes and we were out of it for months. But anyway, it's back. It's been back for a few months now. Each box comes with three packets in it. So you can see it's got these noodles, three individual packs, for the pack, it's eight points on WW. It's 310 calories, two grams of fat, 63 carbs, four grams of fiber, and 10 grams of protein. And I just love these as sesame noodles. So with shrimp and crab and veggies and stuff, like the cabbage mix that I showed in the beginning, it's really good with that and some sauce. So that's why I get these. That's pretty much mostly what I use it for. Some nights I'll just toss together something quick, like just with some teriyaki or soy sauce, and then maybe salmon or something. But I really do like to make the sesame noodles out of them. I cannot not say the word noodles. Okay, moving on to the fun stuff. I wanted blue corn tortilla chips and these just looked really good. We usually get the round ones, which are actually higher in points, but today we just got these blue corn tortilla chips. For the serving of about 14 chips, it's three points on WW, 140 calories, eight grams of fat, 16 carbs, and two grams of protein. And I kind of just wanted these to make nachos. I don't know why it just sounded really good. So we might be doing that soon, especially with that new queso we got. And we just always need some type of chips or crackers for all the dips that we buy. Those blue corn tortilla chips will be so good in the Aldi pineapple guacamole. But I also got some crunchy curls. So these have become one of my favorite salty snacks. They really don't have much flavor at all. They're pretty salty, but the crunch is just so good and I just love them. They're also really good in dips, but I also like to just have them plain or in snack mixes. For the serving of 31 curls, it's three points on WW, 130 calories, five grams of fat. It's got 19 carbs and three grams of protein. So these are really good. I've been buying them every time we go to the store. Again, another reason that we had to get there because I finished the bag of them last night. Okay, then moving on to a few other snacks. So this was a new thing that was at checkout actually. They always get us at checkout, but these are dark chocolate orange sticks. They are soft natural orange flavored center dipped in dark chocolate. So for the serving of five sticks, it's seven points on WW, which is pretty high. I'm hoping the sticks aren't too small, but we'll see. But for the serving of five of them, it's 120 calories, three grams of fat. It's got 23 carbs, 17 grams of sugar. So definitely a lot of sugar in there. I say we just try them right now, actually. They're bigger than I expected. Oh. So you can have, I mean, not bigger, but like thicker. I thought they were gonna be like thin sticks. So you can have five of these They're for soft. seven points. One of them is one point though. So like one quick little snack, let's see. They're soft. Oh, I just squished it. I yeah, didn't know same. that. Yeah, same, <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It's like a gummy worm. Mm -hmm. That was not at all what I expected. That was almost exactly what I was expecting. Really? <laughs> yeah, I love I don't know. I was expecting like a crunchy center. Oh, really? Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm it's not really going to lie. Good. No, I really like it. I, those are dangerous. Yeah, those are kind of scary. Why is orange and chocolate so good? Right? That's a good combo. Okay, so then also more chocolate. I really wanted a trail mix that had chocolate in it, so I got this. Happy Trekking Trek Mix. It's got almonds, chocolate, cashews, pistachios, sweetened dried cranberries, and cherries. So this sounds really good, actually. I'm excited. I probably have had this one before, but for the serving of a quarter cup, it's six points on WW. Higher point, but again, that's what weeklies are for. 150 calories, 11 grams of fat, 13 carbs, two grams of fiber, eight grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. So this will be something that I portion out, but it looks like it's got a good amount of chocolate in it and I'm excited for that. I always need something like sweet and salty like that after meals and stuff. This granola is so good and I haven't been able to stop buying it now since I tried it. I think this is like her third or fourth bag that I've gotten of it. For a quarter cup, it is 120 calories, four and a half grams of fat, 19 carbs, nine grams of sugar, and two grams of protein, and it's four points for that serving. I just can't get over how good the flavor is. It's kind of like a little bit more chewy, I feel like, but such a good granola. It's a really good option. I actually used the bottom of the bag, like they were just crumbs, and I added it to my caramel apple pie yogurt, and it was so, so good. And for the quarter cup serving, it is five points on WW. So this has just become one of my favorites. It's really good. Again, something I kind of have to limit and portion, but it's a good option. Then Adam loves these PBC bars. So these are the peanut butter cocoa bars. They have like a peanut butter cocoa filling in them. For one of them, it's five points on WW, 160 calories. It's got seven grams of fat, 20 carbs, seven grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. So this is just like a midday bar he likes to bring to work as just a snack option. It's convenient and it's something different. Then Adam also grabbed this many things snack mix. So we've also tried this before. For the half cup serving, it is five points on WW. It's 170 
70 calories, 8 grams of fat, 20 carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 3 grams of sugar, and 4 grams of protein. So this has honey roasted peanuts, spicy and honey butter cereal squares, corn sticks, pretzels, and savory bread chips, and it's got a good sweetness to it. We've really been enjoying this. We go through it pretty quickly, but another thing that you have to be careful with the portion of. We got a lot of those types of snacks this time, but again, it's just about moderation and kind of keeping track of what we're having with tracking and stuff like that. So the last thing we got, just some salty peanut bear bells. These are one of my favorites. They taste the most like Snickers to me out of the bear bells. For one of them, it's six points on WW, 200 calories, eight grams of fat, 18 carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So these are one of my favorite options after the gym or sometimes at night I just want something sweet but also I haven't really hit my protein goal or I just need to get more protein in and I'll have a bear bell usually because it tastes just like a candy bar. That wraps it up for everything and a lot of new stuff but a lot of staple items that we just needed to stock up on. So I'm happy about that. I feel good. I have a lot of meal ideas that we can make this week and I feel good about it. So anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and we will see you next time. Bye.